Today, we are going to do another organization project. Today, we are going to tackle my photo organization. And it has been so long since I have looked at my photos, I don't even know if I've shared a video over how I organize my photos. Now, I will tell you that my four by six photos are pretty well organized. So I will share with you that system that I have set up that I absolutely love and I set it up and I've kept it that way, but it's the five by sevens and larger that have been an issue for me. So I purchased some organizers and I wanna get them all organized with you today. I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So if you notice, I'm sitting in the floor of my office. And I do plan on sharing an office tour, hopefully at the beginning of this summer, because we have completely redone our office and it doesn't even look like the same room. So right now I'm doing a little cleaning out. If you see that stuff from my attic that I'm in the process of trying to sell and get rid of. And I am organizing little small things here and there. So if you've not seen my DVD organization video, I will put that in a card above. And today, and then my binder series, I will also put a card above to the playlist for my binders where I share with you all of the binders that I use in my house to keep us organized. Now today we're going to tackle photos. Photos are those things that I had it organized and then you guys it just it's not organized anymore. So the first thing we're going to do is pull out all the photos and we're just going to take a look and I'm going to share with you the system that has not worked and the organizers that I purchased. Okay, so I've taken my camera off the tripod because I wanted you to get an up close look and I wanted to share my original idea and intent for all of these. So this right here was supposed to be for my five by seven photos. And if you can tell, that is not just five by seven pictures. And look, I even have, this is my husband's. Well, how did that get in there? That is from 1994. I have no idea how that was in there. So the original intent was for this to contain our five by seven photos. Here's the lid. I think I got this either from Michaels or Joanne Fabrics at least six years ago. This was intended for my eight by 10 photos. And I don't, I think the eight by 10s were the only ones that were gonna fit in here, but I have no idea exactly what all is in here because I can tell you I, several times I have just opened the lid, shoved something in there and then shut the lid. So I got two different type of organizers for five by sevens and eight by tens. Now the one thing that I will tell you that has worked, but, and I think I have some more of these in the attic because you guys, there are many of the four by sixes in here. This is an Iris USA photo organizer. Now this is the bigger box. I will link everything that I'm talking about in the description below, but I do have some of these in the attic that I may have to use. So I think I got this one from Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure if you can purchase it from Hobby Lobby online, but I will look and see and put the best deal I can find on the um, internet in the description. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 16 different four by six holders. So what I did when I originally came up with this system was I got scrapbook paper and I put it on the front and then I labeled what was inside. So this is mine and my husband's baby pictures. Then we have our middle school and high school days. Then we have, oh, same things. We had so many of those. Same, I guess we have three of those. Then college from 2000 to 2005. Then we have our wedding photos, 2005 to 2009. So that's basically before we had Kate. And then we have 2009 to 2011. That was after Kate. Then these are 2009 to 2012. 
2013. So I'd actually organized these longer than I thought. 2014, 13 to 14. These are the negatives to all of the photos. Pets. Wallet size photos. Another wallet size photos and a puzzle. So basically these are photos all the way through 2014. So if there are any photos that we have that are 2014 and ahead, we need to get those organized and I need to get the second organizer from the attic. So we're gonna deal with this last. So I just want to show you how that was organized. So this is organized perfectly. Now some of these photos over here might need to go in there, but we are not going to pay attention to that until we get the other things organized. So the first thing that we are going to focus on are the five by sevens. And for that, I decided to get the same type of organizers that I was using for the four by sixes. So I went to Michael's and they had these on sale. These are the five by seven photo cases. So I got, I think five of these. One, two, three, yes, four and five, four and five. And I want to say these were like, a dollar fifty a piece because they were having a photo organization or craft organization sale for sixty percent off. So I want to say they were roughly three dollars and something, and I got them for like a dollar fifty each. So that means that these five by seven photos that we have over here, I am going to try to separate them out into five categories. If I don't have five categories, that's great, but the five can be the max. So that would be mean that I would have at least two extra, let's say for different categories I might add in the future. So that is the first thing we are going to do is go through this organizer here, separate everything out, pull all the other photos and things that aren't five by sevens and get those sorted. Shockingly, I only needed two of the five five by seven little organizers. So I'm going to keep all three of these probably in the attic. So if I need to add to any of these, I can, or if I need to use these for something else. So basically I have baby in high school and then after high school. So I'm going to get some scrapbook paper and label both of these. So these two are gonna get scrapbook paper and a label at the end of this video, but right now I'm just gonna put it aside. We're gonna do all of the organizing first and then we'll get to the other. So now the next one that's not gonna take nearly as long is the five by sevens. So this is the organizer that I got for the five by sevens. This is an iris, this is an iris scrapbook case. So this is a 12 by 12. So this can fit scrapbook paper up to 12 by 12. Since we're doing photos, this should be able to fit all of them in there, I am hoping. So what I was originally using was this box right here from I think Joanne Fabrics and had all of my eight by 10 photos and anything that was odd shaped in here. But as you can see, I'm probably going to have to move some of these things to the five by seven and four by six because once again, I've just shoved photos in random spots. So, so now we're gonna organize and get all the eight by 10s and anything odd shaped or larger put in this scrapbook paper organizer here. Okay, so now this is what we have organized. I need to put some of these five by sevens up because there were a few of the five by sevens that needed to be cut. So I have those here and those are going to go into the college through present because I didn't have any that were super old in here. So all of those are gonna fit in that five by seven organizer. I had a few that were larger than eight by 10. So these are just gonna sit underneath this organizer here. And I need to take the label off there. So look, this entire thing is full. And then we have the four by sixes over there. Now let me show you behind me so you can see what we have going on back here. 
So what we're going to do with this big pile here is I'm going to go through and I'm just going to see what I need to keep. And you guys, I may have some five by sevens. I may have some things that need to be shredded, get rid of, but I will not know until I go through them. So that is going to be my next task to go through this massive pile of four by six and random photos. Same project, new day. <laughs> so the, uh, the last clip that you saw was from two days ago. We had to stop right there and take Kate to cheer. So I'm picking this up back up today. So I just now went through and sorted that massive pile of what I thought was only four by six photos, but ended up being a whole mass of other things as well. So as I sit in the floor, this is what I see. And it looks like that it's not organized at all, but it actually is. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through what I'm going to do. But before we do that, that right there is the massive pile of donation, well, I wouldn't say donation, recycling, shred, and throw away things. So all of that, just from doing this project, I have been able to get rid of. These are my little piles of photos that need to go in one of the existing organizers. So I have high school, this is the one that we're going to start a new one that i'm going to label 2015 through 2018 and you guys i may need two organizers for that that goes in the negatives little organizer this is the 2013 one uh baby photos that goes in kate's memory keeper then we've got college days wedding and then we have all of this over here that is going to go in five by seven and keepsake stuff. So what I'm gonna do right now is I am going to get rid of all of the trash over here that's recycled and all of that, and then get all of this place back where it needs to go and then check in with you. Okay, we're about 30 minutes in and I will say that it gets messier before it gets organized. So this looks like a complete mess, but it is an organized mess. I will be honest, that took a lot longer than I had anticipated. That took an hour probably. That was me doing a little bit, breaking to eat, doing a little bit more, going and doing something else in the house and coming back because I just could not tackle it all in one setting. But I completely have it finished now. It feels so much better. And I will tell you that we don't normally print photos anymore. If the photos that we have that are current, they are the ones that basically came from my classroom. I will print pictures for my classroom every year and then I'll just the next year when it's time to switch them out for new ones, I'll just bring those home. So most of the photos that we have are in photo books. If you've not seen my photo books, I will leave that video in a card above. I do Shutterfly photo books every year, at least three times a year. And that is how we do all of our photo organizing and memory keeping. So what you have, what you see here is very minimal. I don't have a lot of photos, but they're all organized and it feels great and I'm ready to share them with you. So after all of that, we have a bag of trash and you guys, the pictures that were blurry or that I couldn't tell who was in them or just did not make any sense, I shredded all of those and those went in that trash bag. And then underneath that, I'm either gonna donate that box or recycle it. I'm gonna have to look at it and see um, you know what type of shape it's in okay next this is the 8x10 and larger box here and i still need to take the label off the top and put a label on there these underneath it are pictures that are not or prints that's my husband's coach of the year thing that was in a frame and I think the frame broke. So these will be just sitting on the bottom of the shelf. I'll show you at the end where I'm gonna keep all of these. So anything that's in odd shape or that's bigger than an eight by 10 or bigger goes in this box. Next, this is the four by six organizer that you guys saw at the beginning. I'm not gonna go over that again. You saw all of that. All I did was I added some of the photos that were in that four by six pile that went into the individual organizers inside, added those in there, 
And then this is why I don't get rid of organizers when I'm not using them because I might end up coming back to use them in the future. So this is another four by six organizer from Iris USA. So this is the larger one and then this is the smaller one. This fits six of the four by six containers and I found three in the attic. I think I've got the other three in the attic. I've just got so many bins of organizers that I just did not want to take the time to look through them. So I got the three that I saw, and that's really all I needed. And all of the extra photos that needed an organizer, this is where they are. So this organizer, I guess you could say I have in chronological order, like it starts with our baby photos and high school, then college, and then on through marriage and all of that. So this is basically a continuation of that. And this one's kind of like hard to see. There we go. And you will notice I was not all fancy. I didn't have, my label maker is currently broken. And let's be honest, it doesn't really matter what the print looks like as long as they're labeled. So this is the continuation of the 2013-14. So that's going to go in here. Then I have two organizers here with 14 through 18 so that right there should prove to you that we just do not print out photos very often so both of these organizers will go behind here then i've got spots for the three more that are in the attic to grow this collection and then i'm going to put this in here kay took some photos and made this cute little album for me a few years ago so i'm going to put that in there as well so now my four by sixes are organized and ready to be put on the shelf and now the five by sevens so the five by sevens, I ended up using three of the five. So for these, I have one that has high school 96 through 2000. And my husband was in high school in 95, but we didn't start dating until 98. I think that's right. We didn't start dating until 98. I think he was in high school in 95 and I was in high school in 96, I think. And we didn't start dating until 98. So I knew there was not going to be any photos in there from 95. So that... And then we have after high school. So basically college and on because look, once again, we don't print a whole lot of photos. And then extras, like we have some um, picture CDs and one little album that is in here. And I went ahead and set up the last two little organizers here and put the little labels in the front. And let me show you what I did. You might wonder how I did the labels on the front for these. All I did was use my Fiskars paper trimmer that I have right here. And I cut down a piece of scrapbook paper to fit a five by seven. So I just took a five by seven photo and then measured it out, cut it. And then I took the back side of a piece of scrapbook paper and just taped it on the front and then just wrote on it. That's it. So I would know what was in it. And you guys, that is how I have all of these organized. So now I'm going to put all of these on the shelf and show you where I will store them. Okay, so I'm hoping the lighting is okay. I had to turn my camera off and turn it back on. So this is the very back wall of our office closet. And there is where I have all the photos organized. So I have my 8x10 box, my 4x6s, another 4x6, and then I have the 5x7s over here. Because I did not have an organizer to put that in, so I grabbed another bin from the attic to use to store those five by seven photos. So everything is now organized. It's not like hanging out of a box and it feels great. So that is all for this photo organization video. I hope you have enjoyed seeing me declutter my photos and get them all back to being organized. If you are interested in any of the organizers that I have shared today, and if they're still available, I will link them in the description below. Some of them might be affiliate links, which means if you click a link and make a purchase, I make a small commission off the sale, but it does not affect the price for you at all. I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube your engaged and you like my content so they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity also i hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together i hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time bye you guys